see a star. Stand where the peaks meet in the sky and the woods meet the sea. Where the rivers run clear and the bracken is gold in the sun. And the cares of tomorrow must wait till the sun is done. That old song may be familiar to you. It was written by the late W. Gordon Smith, a writer and BBC producer, quite a number of years ago. Uh, and he wrote it to the old Irish tune, Bucho on Erin. And the words beautifully describe what hills and mountains mean to me personally. It's when you're there on a mountainside or in a beautiful highland glen that you realise the cares of tomorrow can wait till this day is done. I borrowed the words of the song Come by the Hills as the title for my latest book. After a lifetime of hill wandering, I've learned that mountain summits are not necessarily the be all and end all of our outdoor experiences. Of course, it's great to reach a summit cairn, but for me, they're no longer the priority, no longer the organising principle of mountains, as Nan Shepherd once said. Over the years, I've learned a little about the wider aspects of mountain culture, the folk tales, the music, the legends, the history that extends our knowledge of Scotland's turbulent past, those things that give our wild places such a powerful identity. I'm glad to say I can still creep my way up a mountainside, but that slower pace has brought certain benefits. It's allowed me to look around a bit more and see those things I missed when hitherto I would have been impatiently striving, fighting towards the summit. These days I walk, climb, ride my bike, paddle my pack raft, explore the byways of Scotland in my wee red camper van. And it's these things that I want to share with you in this new book. So here's an invitation. Come with me to the land where fancy is free, to stand where the peaks meet the sky and the locks meet the sea, where the rivers run clear and the bracken is gold in the sun, where the cares of tomorrow can wait till this day is done.